able to share my screen. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So um I think before before now, this link that you should put was shared to you guys. And the reason is to actually go through so that you can see what we are going to talk about today. So, like I said, I'll be going through the command line, basic command lines. So if you're New to programming and to work there or to protect everything in general, you're going to notice as time goes on, you're going to notice that you can actually work as a developer without using the command line. One way or the other, you're definitely or you're going to definitely you're definitely going to use the command line interface. So if you're learning it now, it's a very good stuff for you because it's going to help you in the future. So we will get to three ship work. Basically, I will go through and explain to you what the command line share with the and command line is. Again, I want to stress this course or this presentation, I will be using Windows. So, in case you're using Mac or you're using Linux, please just identify using the chat so I can know I'm the person using Linux and Mac so that we can know how to interchange between the both of them and so we can carry everybody along. Okay. Use the chat. If you're Mac, just notify your Mac. If you're on Windows, notify your Windows. If you're using Linux, notify your using Linux. So, let's know. I can carry everybody along, so we don't leave any person aside. Okay, it seems everybody's using Windows. But I'm using the. I'm not using Windows. I'm using the. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's like everybody's okay. using. We have Windows as a majority. No problem. I'll still show you how we can go with how you can still run this command from the back. And then okay. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the Windows Windows has a shell or it's like basically that's a command line interface, the normal Windows command line. Okay, and why we also have the PowerShell on Windows. This PowerShell and command line okay, are the two Windows shell of the environment that allows you to write commands from the Windows. Okay, unlike the, somehow on the Windows command, there are some kind of the Linux and the Mac OS uses bash and set sh for Mac and bash for Windows. So if you're on Windows, some of the commands on the Linux on the bash does not work on Windows, and some of the commands on the Windows does not work on the bash. Okay, but to turn your Windows into bash and make it work like Linux, you can either install the bash or install WSL. That is the Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, as a beginner, I advise you to install Git bash. And leave the WSL from now. So if you have Git Bash installed on your system, can I see you use the comments? Yes, see if you understand screen. Yeah, majority of them have installed that already. Installed that. Okay. I have okay, I can see some person saying that they have installed it. Okay, so first of all, what I'll do is I'll show you how to write the command on the Windows command line and also how to write the command. On Git Bash, so that we can all be on the same page. All this tracking. If you can't hear me, please. At the point you cannot hear me, so nobody is lost here. Yeah, is the audio okay now? Any person, any person having audio problem? Um, it's clear from my end. Hello, this this I don't know your name, is Suleiman. Please, can you hear me now? It's better ahead. Okay. It's completed. I guess it's network. So if you cannot hear me, just try and and uh, call my attention so you can tell you where I don't. Because I think it's a very important class. So if you cannot hear me, just try and call my attention. All right. So let's go into Windows. So we'll be using the Windows command prompt and we'll be using the bash. This is the bash. We'll be working with both of them. So what, like I said, some of the commands on Windows does not work on Linux. So this git bash is a shared command for, for Linux. It basically turns the Windows to behave like Linux. So 
So what happens is I'm going to show you the commands on Windows and also show you the commands on Bash. That's assuming you're using Linux. So this is Bash is going to work with it. So we're going to walk through this report and achieve the goal of the data. Yeah. So here's a. Um, so, uh, I know some persons might be lost. Uh, let me speak on behalf of some persons here. So how can we locate the bash in our Windows system? And how can we also locate the terminals in our Windows system? So like a simple step so they will see how to see the way you did that. Okay, that's a very good question. So for me, um, from the Windows search, you can type bash and you're going to see the bash. If you can see my screen, you can see that the bash is straight. That's if, you, if you've installed it properly, you're going to see this, this bash here. If you installed it properly, you're going to see this. Um, another quick thing to note is if you have git bash installed properly, once you right click, you will see this option, git bash here. If you right click on the particular folder, you will see this option, git bash here. I don't know how many persons have seen this on your screen. You can use the comment box if you can see this. How can I enter Git Bash? Search Git Bash from the from the Windows search bar at the bottom. Just search Git Bash. Search Git Bash. You're going to see the Git Bash. It's, it's not popular, so you're going to see it. Can you see my screen? Yes. So just type Bash. Yeah, they, see yeah, yeah they, they can, can see it. Okay. They, they can see it now. Now, how can they look okay. it? How can they if you're on Windows it? also, if you're on Windows, type CMD. You're going to see command prompt. CMD. On Windows, type CMD, you're going to see command prompt. We're going to use the command prompt and the git bash. Are we on the same page? Yes. Please, if you're having any difficulties, use the comment box. Yeah, sure. I will help you check the comment box so you don't always try. So can you close the comment box? Let me help you on that part so you can focus more on Showing them the other part. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think that would be very, be very good. Okay, so if you have the bash and the command from open, you're going to have these folders inside the bottom of them. So, like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to write the commands on Windows. Then I'll show you. If it has any different with the bash, I'll show you the command on bash. So, we're going to see the both of them and the difference. Okay. So you can basically choose which one you would like to work with. Okay. So um, if you are new to Git Bash, you might be asking yourself, why should you learn Git command? Why should you learn command line interface? Is it useful to you? But one of the reasons why you should learn command line interface is because of the speed. Like this helps your development process be faster. It is easier for you to create new folders and update to folders from the command line rather than clicking through the Windows interface, the GUI. So the it's it's this the command line it basically it improves your speed like your production speed and again it is easier to access remote servers okay so if you're working with remote servers like i don't know for technical item, but if you're working with just like the local just like aws we're going to definitely work with command line interface because everything is basically done from the commands okay and again if you're new to web developments we're going to use Command line interface because there are lots of command line tools. It is like NPM, you work with this kind of what you any uh, script, you have to go via the command line. Even with the technical writing, I know I, I know if you want to install some of the technical writing tools, you still have to install them via the command line. And additionally, it's a great skill to have. As either as a technical writer or as a web developer, having knowing how to use the command is it's a plus to your skills, so it's a great skill to have. So this I want you to notice. Take note of the arrow button, arrow up and arrow down. Okay, because it's going to come in handy when you're writing command. The arrow up, this will show you your previous command, like the code you've written before. If you don't want to retype them again, you can use the arrow up. This will take you to the previous command. Then the arrow down will take you to your next command. So if you have written, maybe you have written some code before and you want to rewrite that code and you don't want to type them again, the arrow up will just take you back to the previous code. So instead of typing it again, you can just use the arrow up to go back to your previous code. Okay, so using the tab, the tab would it's it's it helps you to complete your tab. Like if you want to write a particular command and you add tab, let's say you've written the best, let's say you've written the best headline line, and you hit tab, it's gonna help you to auto-complete what you're trying to write. Okay, then the control C and the control D. So the control C first, this will help this will exit the current command 
basically on the Linux. If you're on the Linux, it's gonna it's gonna exit. It's gonna exit it. Why if you're on Windows, the command line or the PowerShell, the control D, it's gonna exit the terminal for you. Okay. Again, if you still want to close the terminal, exit can also help you. You know, type in exit into the command line will help you close the terminal. Like basically what I mean is this if you're on Windows command, actually I want to close the command, I type exit and close. Okay. I hope you can I hope you're following. You. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so again, like the exit, always open it. So exit is going to help you close the command line. Why on bash and the line of control C is going to help you close the control D is going to help you close the command. So also, if there, are, if you need to month and you want to search you want to get more help this is the command help it's going to help you to get more options for signing the commands so by using the type help you're going to get more options for signing the command form in case there's anything you're looking for and you're not sure of it you can use help to get more details for signing it okay so let's go into writing to command so we'll go from First of all, we'll go from we we'll walk through this file, like I said. So let's go with the first idea. This is to list all files in a particular folder. So currently now I am in this particular drive to move back to my folder. So I'm in the desktop now to see all the files. I'm currently working with this heading now, listing all files in the folder. To see all files on Windows, you're going to use the GDRO, this is the directory. It's going to show you all the files in a particular folder. And on Windows or on Bash, LS, this is this file. It's going to show you everything on the system. So this is what I mean. On the desktop, if I type the arrow, which is directly, these are all the folders on the desktop. You can see we have a folder for group and a folder for project. This is it. Let me show you the desktop. We we'll have these two folders. This is group and this is projects. So these are exactly what we have here, group and folder. These are the folders there. So why on the Linux command as on the bash ls is going to do the same thing. This is it. We have the group and the projects. Again, if you have any challenges, please use the comment box below. If you're facing any problem or ask any question. Use the comment box below. I can always come back. I want everybody, to, every person to be on the same page. So, and again, you know, what's so what that long line that comes after LS? Those lines of whatever. After LS, this, this mm. one. Yeah. This one. All this, okay. Yeah. This is this is the folders on the desktop. So okay. you can see I am currently on the desktop. So you can actually be trying this while I'm doing it. So I am on the desktop. This is my current directory. So LS is going to show you the list of files that are on this particular folder. So we'll have the group and this project. These are the two folders on the desktop. You can see them from here. This is the desktop. These are the folders we have here. The desktop. Okay. So I will advise as I'm writing the code, you can also be writing the code. So that if you press any difficulties, you can sort them and you're ready to get them. Okay. Can I continue? And you're using Git Bash, not uh, the 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 other one. You see the both of them. I'm using both of them. I'm showing you the, okay. the command on Windows and the command on Git Bash. Okay. Okay. So like this one now, if you want to list all the files on the folder, you use the the arrow. Okay. This is going to show you all the folders. So we have group and we have project. These are all the folders for the desktop. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, I can continue. Yeah, I can continue. Can I continue? So let's let's. Uh, okay, so, like let's, I said, we're working let's... through this repo. So, um, somebody is asking, is, is it really you're having system? This okay? There's something I did actually show you. You can move to CB desktop if you have the software system. Use this command to speak to the desktop. CD command and it's take the desktop before running the LS. 
AK, Olisa, you can just you can actually delete stuff from the text of the command. We'll get to that point. We will definitely cover that. So if you actually want to list all the files in the document, first of all, you, want, you need to move into the directory. That's change directory first to desktop, then type ls. So you can use this command or Windows, use the the Let's so, like I said, so I think we are done with the listing files in folder. So, let's take the next idea. This is creating a folder a file from the command line. Okay, so basically, on the Windows and on the Mac, that's the command line and the font. You use the same command to create a folder. Okay, so still working from the desktop directory, I can make a new directory that is make the uh, writing. Writing. So make that we we'll create a new folder for you for technical writing. So to see if that has been created, you can use ls to see. So you can see we we'll have the character writing now, which is a new folder here that is created. Why the same thing can be done on Windows? You can use the same commands for making for creating folder online on the batch also work the same way with Windows. So let's say create another one, command line. line. Oh, see all the files. Uh, like I see, we have the new command line interface, the technical writing, the project, and the these are the, all the folders on the desktop. You can confirm that by coming to the desktop. These are all the folders. This is what we created. We created the technical writing from the bash, and we created the command line interface from the command line. Again, you can be trying to code alongside with me so that if you have any challenge, you can just something to be done. Okay, so we are done with creating folder. So let's say how to create files on the bash and on Windows. So creating files on the Windows command line is quite different from creating files on the bash or on the mask command. So I'll show you how to create both of them using the command line. I'll create one with Windows, then using the git bash, I'll create one with the bash. So let's start with the Windows. So following the command on the GitHub, we have this is a command to create a new file on our own Windows. We go with this. Basically, we are still working from the desktop, but now because I am, I created this command line interface from this command line. So I would, I want to move into the command line interface and create this very file inside the command line interface. Okay. Do you guys understand? Hello. Yeah. Can someone talk to me. Yeah. I created use this the chat. Use the chat, please. Okay, so I created this command line interface with the Windows command line. So I would create a new file inside this one with the command line. I created the technical writing with the bash. I will create a new file inside this with the bash. I guess you understand. Okay, so let's create a new file inside the command line interface. So you can Change directory. Quite on the text of directory, you can change directory with CP command line. To make any file, we use I think we are. We, are, we should be used to HTML. We all know HTML at least. So this is like we are completing a basic HTML file with the uh, command line. So once you're done with the command, you hit enter. So to see if this file has been created, you can just see every file inside. Like I say, with the de arrow, the arrow is going to list all files and folder inside a particular directory. So currently, I am inside the command line interface directory. So to see every file and folder inside the directory, I use the arrow and you click. So you're going to see the new file. This is the new file I just created now. New file dot HTML. So to confirm it, you can go back to the desktop. This is the command line interface, and we we'll have the new file of HTML right there. Okay, so while creating a file on the bash, this is quite easier compared to the uh, Windows command line. So first of all, I'll have to CD in, I'll have to change directory and move it to the technical writing folder. Sorry, let me just type it. 
I may look at the correct as well. I bought. So for creative fire is actually that if I but you touch. So this is new fire for HTML. So the difference between the bash and the Linux and the command line is on bash, creating a new file, you use touch. While on Windows, creating a new file, you have to like you have to type this long string. Type no the new file. This is quite it's quite long compared to this one. So anyone that you think is easier for you, you can always go with it. So I have created a new file inside the technical writing folder. So to see all the files inside, like I said, use the ls. We have the new file here. To confirm it, you can go to the desktop. This is the technical writing folder, and we have a new file here. So this is how to create a new file and how to create a folder using the command line. Are you with me? Yes. Because actually, we are working through the steps on this repo. So if you don't have a link to the repo, this is it. You can walk through this repo with me. You can keep it up open and walk through the repo with me. I guess you're going to, it's going to be, you're going to understand that's going to follow along. Okay. And again, just try and follow along with me so that you don't get lost. And if you have any challenge, always use the comment box. I'm here for you. So let's go through navigating in folders or new. Use the command line. Basically, I think I have been showing you these words. Let's just make it clear. Currently, we are inside the command line interface using the um, command form. So if I want to go back to the desktop, you go back to the desktop using cd and double dot. This is dot dot double dot. And you enter. This is going to take you back to the desktop. OK? This is basically the same if you are working with the command with the bash. So to still go back, use the cd double dot. It's taking you back to the desktop. Why? To move into a new folder. To move into a folder, you use CD. This is CD stands for change directory. So I can use CD and just like what I said, if you want to go back to my previous I think I've got like this. You use arrow up. Arrow up is going to show you all your previous codes. So this is CD, the clicker writing. If I want to move into the clicker writing, I use CD. I can write it. This is going to change the directory from this desktop to the folder. If I hit enter now, you can see we are currently inside this technical writing folder. We are no longer inside the desktop folder. To confirm it, you can leave all files inside here. We have only new file here. But if you go back to the desktop, you see the dot dot. If you list all file here, you can see we have technical writing, we have project, we have, we have, editor, we have the command line interface. So the same thing, changing file and moving into directory is the same thing on Windows and on Mac, like even on Bash. So Basically, if you want, if I want to go back to the command line, I use from the command line. If I want to go back to this command line folder. I can still use the arrow up button to take me back to the previous command. But like I said, arrow up and arrow down is going to take you through the previous command. Security. If you don't want to retype it again, you can use arrow up or arrow down. So to go back to the command line interface folder, I hit enter. Oh, sorry, this is make that I created a new folder. So this is CD. CD command line interface, hit enter. So we are going to enter the folder. You can confirm it by listing the files inside. And you see we have just one file, which is the file inside this folder. So this is how to move from folder to folder. Are you guys with me? Yes. Okay. So to so clear the screen, so far we'll be writing lots of code, uh, lots of command. Probably the screen looks like it's, uh, it's, it's, it's simple. So to clear the screen, you can use CLS, CLS, the clear the screen on the patch. Okay, clear. Okay, I think out of this, you will clear, we'll clear the screen on, on the patch. And I think CLS, CLS will clear the command on Windows. Why clear, will clear the command on the patch. Please take note, I did not update this report on the patch. Okay, so on the, on the patch, on bash, clear, you clear the screen. And on Windows, scale is clear the screen. Please take note of this. Take note of this. I will update the report after now. So, renaming so, files and folder. Assuming you're working on a particular folder, just like the 
the technical idea here, it is wrongly spelled. It is wrongly spelled. So if I want to rename the folder on the on the bash, you use the command to rename the folder. So this is how it's done. MV. The folder is tech. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only so you can see now that the name has changed. If I list all files here. This is now the new name. You can see the correction has been made. Formerly it was, I think, TEH. Now it has been corrected to TEC. So you can see the change. So to rename file and folder on the bash, you use MV. This is the command. MV. This is the name of the folder you want to rename. And this is the new name you want to rename it to. So take note of this to decide the difference. If previous, so this first one is the name of the folder, you, the name of the actual folder you want to rename. And this second one is the name of the is the new name you want to rename it with. So like this one was the previous one, which was the mistake in the spelling of the character name, and this is a correction, is a corrected one. That is what we have here. Okay, so while on Windows, so we can change the name of the command and something more better. Let's say use on Windows you use rename. Rename. Why on the Mac you use MP? So let's try this out. You have the name. The name of the folder is command. Find this the folder. And let's continue to CMT. Okay, so let's check with the graph or Windows graph on Linux LS. So now we have CMD. No longer the three character interface. So this is how this works. Okay, I hope you guys are following. Can I? Are you guys following? I'm not hearing anything. Yes. I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. You're lost. Where, where can I find you? Because you, you say you're lost. Where do you need help? Okay, you can see we are together. I can see that we are together. Because you see your loss, where are you lost? Where do you need help? Somebody said he's trying. Please try. After clearing the screen, I, 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 I missed out the rest. Okay, after clearing this, okay. You, you're not lost now. We've not gone far. We're still with you. After clearing the screen, what happened is we changed the folder's name. Okay, so previously, from the command prompt, we had we had command line as a previous name. So we renamed it from command line to CMD. So to rename a folder, you use this very command, rename the folder name and the new folder name. So this command line interface was the previous folder name, and this EMT is the new folder name. So basically, this works only on the command prompt, while on the bash, the git bash, this was the previous folder name, and this is the new folder name. So to rename the folder name, you use MV on the bash. On the window, you use rename, while on the bash, you use MP. Are you clear now? Yes. Jose, are you clear now? Yes, yes. All right, let's continue. So, renaming file. It's basically the same way to rename file. You just use the rename, file name, and the new file name. So inside the CMD now we have a file called let's let's move it to the CMD, the new folder we name. So let's see the files inside. So we have new file here. So let me rename this new file to something different. So we'll have that should be rename new file.html can be renamed now to old file.html. 
Okay, so let's carry the same thing. Just that on the file, you need to, you need to specify the extension. So if you have .html extension, you have to specify it. If you have .css extension, .test, you have to specify the extension. So to confirm if the change has been made, you know, let's use it there to see for the file inside. So now we'll have old file .html. Normally it was new file .html. So on bash. On bash. So let's see the into this new technical writing folder and let's make the change inside. Let's see the file inside and see what new file of this. I can change this file MV new file of HTML to old file of HTML. So to confirm this, we just add this old file of HTML. So to see this on the desktop, this is on the technical writing folder, you now have both file attached. Then on the CMD folder, you have both files. So the command is working. Once again, I would suggest you follow along with me. If you have any challenges, any difficulties, please use the comment box. If you have any questions, I am open to answer your questions. All right, let's move into copy files. Okay, so on Windows, you have the X copy. Why on the on the bash you have the CP? Okay, so let's try this out. Inside the command line, we are going to create a new folder. Then we are going to copy the old file into the old file that is into the new folder. Okay, so to create a new folder, like I said, use the make the that is make new directory. And let's call this folder. Okay, so let's see inside the folder. The folder is currently empty. Let's see files inside. There's no file inside. It's empty. So let's go back to the CMP folder. So we're going to copy this. We're going to copy this old file. Old file that's inside here. We're going to copy this old file inside this folder. Okay, currently, if we Try to see all files inside here with the DER. We have the folder and the old file. So we want to move this old file into this folder. So on the Windows, you go with S copy. The file type we have this is old file.html. Then the name of the folder you want to copy it into. That is the folder. Enter. So you can see old file copied. So if you check this, nah, they will no longer. Okay, this is copied. It's not called. So if you see it into the folder and then list all the files inside you see now we have old file inside here to confirm it you can check here this is the folder we just created a new folder so now we have old file inside this folder okay why on the mac we are going to create a new folder inside the technical writing folder then we're going to copy the old file into this one just similar to we did on the windows okay so make the to create a new folder, please make the folder. So you use CP. Let's see all the files inside here. You have old file and folder. So we're going to copy old file into this folder. So currently, if we move into the folder, there is nothing inside. Currently empty. If we list all the files inside, it's empty. There's nothing inside. So let's copy the files from the from the right into it. So you see it, I type as the old file, the HD can tell. Then you have the folder, folder. So if you confirm this, we move into the folder, then ls. See, we now have old file again. Okay. Any, any challenge? I'm on the same page. Uh, drop it in the chat so we know the okay. challenge. Yes. Okay, so what's the challenge? What's the challenge? Can we hear you? Any challenge? What's your problem? Can we continue? Okay, no challenge. Okay, okay. 
That means you're following, I guess. Nice one. Okay, let's continue. So, moving files. Point one we did is copy, and you notice that if we copy a particular file from one folder to the other place, the file still remain. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to move the file. But let me delete this old files first. I don't want to delete it with the command line, or try to delete the command line. So let's just delete this first with the normal deletes. So we can enter it through how to build up the command line. So the reason I'm deleting is so that I will move this file, the old file, into the folder and it's in order to get it disappeared from this part. I will definitely find it here. Okay. So let's do that. On Windows, you have the command move while on the, the bash you have MV. So currently we are in the folder, and if we leave the files in the folder, we will be the arrow. There's no file inside anymore. So let's go back to the command and see the other dots. So to move the file, what we want to move this old file into this folder. So to do that on window, we use the move old file for HTML. Then the name of the folder we want to move it. One file move. So now, if we list all the files of this directory, we are no longer going to see old file. So as we move into this folder to confirm that, we need to see it into the folder and then list all the files in the folder. So here now we have the old file here. Okay. okay, so on the on the bash, so let's see there is no file inside the folder again. I guess we deleted it. But let's go back to the technical item. So let's list all the files here. I want to move this old file here into this very folder. Okay, so to do that on the wind on the bash, we use MV. I'm moving the old file. Oh, HTML. I'm moving it into the folder. So we list all file here now. We now have only the folder, the old file is no longer there. But if you see it into the folder, at least by the file here, you have the old file here. So if we have successfully moved the old file from the folder from the technical writing folder into this folder directly. So this is how to move file. Okay, so let me this is how to delete files and folder into the bash. The last one I, I deleted them using the normal delete. So this time I'll show you how to do that one with the command. So inside the folder we have let's see file inside here. We have the old file. So to delete both file from there, we use this command on Windows you have there file extension while on the while on folder this is this folder so let me show you how to delete with the file so let's delete old file from this folder so you use the bell old file dot c html bell so as the deleted successfully I guess let's see let's confirm it there's no file inside oh so on the bash you use Remove as RM. So inside, let's see the files inside the folder. You see, I have the old file. So if we use the remove RM, old file, HTML, okay, that file has been successfully to confirm it. Use the LS, the folder is not empty. So this is how to delete file from your folder. So let's see how to delete folders using the command line. So currently, we are inside the folder. So since we want to delete this folder, we cannot delete this folder while we are inside the folder. So we have to cd back to the folder above it over. We have to delete it. So you cd. So currently now we are inside the type in ls have the folder. So, so to delete it, we use the rm. Now note when deleting a folder on the bash, you need to add this arrow flag, dash arrow flag, and folder name. Without this arrow flag, you cannot be able to delete this folder. Okay, so with the arrow flag, it helps you to delete this folder and Basically, it deletes almost everything inside the folder. If there are any files inside, all will be deleted along with this. So, remove the arrow flag and the name of the folder, and you can enter. So, let's confirm if the deleted LX is now empty. The folder is no longer inside. We can confirm that from here. The technical writing is now empty. The folder is deleted. So, while on the Windows, you delete file on the window, you use like I said, you cannot delete file, you cannot delete the folder when you are inside the folder. You have to CD back to one level up. Let's say other files inside. You have the folder. So this is what we want to delete. So to delete this file on the Windows, use RM that remove directory and the name of the folder, which is folder. This is this stands for the arrow, arrow 
and that this is your new directory. So you can then get that. So to perfect this that you deleted, you use a car, and you see there's no price inside this price. Okay. So you can perform that by going back to the CMD command, and we'll see a restriction of inside this way that you Okay. So um this is really files and folder. Okay, so to be able to achieve this, I am going to create a new folder inside this CMD. Okay, then I will then rename the file and then remove the folder as I said. Are you guys following? Hello? Yes, they, they will drop it in the chat. It's okay. Uh, Somebody can't copy successfully. Yeah. Okay. Um, to copy, let me go back, back to that place. I replace. To copy, if you're on Windows, you use S copy. The name of the that's the name of the file you want to copy, and the name of the folder you want to copy it into. Why, if you're on, if you're using the Git Bash or your or your Mac, you use CP. The name of the file you want to copy, include the extension. If it's .html or .css, include the extension. Then the name of the folder you want to copy it into. Okay. See the man. I can. Can I help you? See the man. Can we continue? To you copy this All right. Thank you. Okay, so um to show you a more practical um experience and like how this is basically done in real life, I want to like I will just clone one repository, then we'll see how we can see it into like a more practical because we have just been talking a topic. Let's just see if we can get something. Let's just clone a particular repository and then let's work with it. Let's see how we can do so for that for that inside of it. Okay, well, before I continue, how, how many of us have, do you have VS Code installed on your system? If you have VS Code on your machine, can you indicate using the comment box? Okay, I, I can get a yes. Okay, any other person, VS Code installed on your system? I'll just start there. Okay. If you have not installed VS Code, I don't know. I don't know if I just try to VS Code. But I will see. I have just two years here. I, I will have more from you. Please, if you have VS Code here, please, please, can you identify? Let me hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because um, I'll show you all the Okay, let's just look for. I want to copy this folder. The reason I'm copying this folder, this is outside the scope of this class, but the reason is because this folder has, this very repository has several folders inside. So I basically want to show you how to navigate from folder to folder. Okay, so I I don't know if you know how to use Git or GitHub, um, you can follow along, but you can people along with this course, but basically I just want to show you how to use command line in the real life experience. Like assuming you're working with the project, how to basically move from one folder to another. So to achieve this, we're gonna use this uh, we're gonna use this repository because it has so many subfolders inside. So I want to like show you how to navigate from each of these folder to each folder, format, move through the files and do what you want to do inside the folder. Okay. So Let's proceed. If you don't have VS Code installed on your system, if you have any possible any other uh, text editor, you can still work along with this. Okay, so let me clone this folder. I'll go clone this folder, then I'll draw it. Okay, so I will be working basically with the I work with the um git bash for this um for this like because like I said, the git bash and the Windows command line, just they have some just so you have, they have just few minor uh, changes. Okay, so like if you walk through the GitHub repository, like I have shared the link with you, if you are, if you're using the command line code, I don't have the git bash. You can basically walk through the uh, GitHub people, the GitHub people I shared you here, 
you can see the different commands from the kit from the windows and from the bash okay so but for this uh, practical for this practice i'm going to use a bit bash so prepare the screen like i said to use it today. so let's go back to the desktop so i want to clone this You know, do you guys have knowledge about the clone for Pfizer for that project? I don't know. I, this is actually some of this class, but teaching you Git is not actually what I'm here to do. What I do just basically want to show you is how to navigate from folder to folder. So I guess before you complete the job, you're going to learn about Git and GitHub. So, but that's not actually what I want to teach you. So forget about the cloning the folder. I just want to show you how to navigate from folder to folder. Are you still with me? So, while we are waiting for this folder to clone, if you have any question, please just drop a question. Let's work. Let's see if we can. Okay. While I'm waiting for the folder to clone, if you have any question, can I get you? Any, any question, any doubts, anything about you, any challenges, just let me tell you while we are waiting for this to clone. Anybody with any question? Any contribution, any confusion, just say, say something to your mind. Let's hear you. Hello? Uh, they will drop in the chat if they have any questions. So you can call them after. Why we are waiting for this to clone? If you have any question, please. Yes, because this is this is introduction. This is introduction. This is introduction. I think at the end of the lecture, I'm still going to give you some resources in case you want to go more advanced, and I will give you I'll drop some link for you and go more advanced so you can still update your skill with online. Somebody says she's confused. A week is confused from the beginning. That's weeks. <laughs> if I where if I don't understand, like you, your computer will be like everything you're confused about everything. Yeah, I guess it's confused from the beginning. Um so but if I okay, yeah. if I can you unmute your mic and probably tell our speaker what exactly yeah, you okay, and talk, let's hear you. Yeah. Let's hear you. Like he's not saying anything. Let's now let me show you a more practical experience of what I'm going to say. Okay. Wisdom is this pre recorded? Somebody is asking, okay. Anybody can get a button. Okay, so a more practical experience. So I just cloned this folder from the top. So it's a more practical experience. So let me just show you how to say it in just the regular experience. So the only folder we just cloned is advanced CSS course. This is the only folder we just cloned. So to confirm it and list all the files in the folder. So this is the folder we just cloned. So let's move into this folder and see the file inside the folder. Yeah, so is it can you um make the screen for this one full so it will be more clear and close the the message tab yeah awesome thank you okay okay so this is let's see the into this program so yes This is the folder we just go to the top. And when I try to list, when I try to list all the files, I will have different folders. This 
Uh, no, the ones with the blue color is a folder. So this is a folder, this is a folder, and this is a folder. Okay, so let's see into this folder and see files that are inside here. We're inside this in the first folder, so let's see why that is like let's we we'll have this after SO5 final after SEC So let's see what's inside this data folder. Let's see the price. Have the image and have this. So, assuming I want to create a new folder inside this branch now, and we'll currently we'll have the CSS, we'll have image, we'll have index. So if I want to create my own folder inside, just create it. Like I said, create a new folder, you use the main tab. Is here now. Now, this new folder that's been created here. So, basically, if you're working with this new folder, you can see the new folder. Okay. Okay. The file is correctly empty. So, okay. we are inside. Uh, to go back again to the folder, you'll see the so we are in the natural folder, and let's go back to the folder. I still want to move into this after final after SOC folder. You can still move to the thing better. Very well. I have uh, one thing I do talk about is joining. Uh, you can I basically use two commands together. I just I, I just did it now but let's talk about it. So what this this line of what 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 happens is with the this is LX and this is the folder part. So what this what happened here is actually we see, we moved we did not actually move into this folder but we are still inside this network folder but I was able to list all the files inside this folder. That is what this double command means LX final app so system. So that is to say you can literally use two commands together. So like this, I did not, like I said, I did not see the into this folder. If you check, we are still on the NATO folder, LX. LX. So we are still on the NATO folder. So I did not actually move into this folder, but I joined this two command to be able to see all the files inside this folder. Okay, I open up about that so you can take that into consideration. Let's move into this folder so we can see it's already. Again, you can go back to your previous folder with uh, arrow up and arrow down. Your first command. Okay, you can some command. I don't try it. I make it. You use the arrow up and arrow down to see what's inside. You go back to your previous folder. Okay. So basically, I think that is all for the basics of this class. And um, if you have any question, you can ask. And if you want to do more reading on this report, you have this. I think this is a this is a YouTube video, and this is the Linux handbook. Okay, this is a this is a this is a free code article with lots of commands, so you can basically go through all of them and learn more and learn more advanced commands. Okay. All right, guys. So um, this is time for Q and A. So if you have any questions so far, you can ask him now because we have a few questions. All right, guys. So any questions so far? Any question? Basically, you cannot clone. I think I'm saying it's not possible to clone a GitHub address. A GitHub folder where you're offline because you're actually working with a folder online, so you need you need an internet connection. Because if you saw me doing that one, you can see you just actually downloading the files of folder. 
So we didn't have any conditions at the end of the they were not fired. Okay. So is there any question? Are you left any question? Okay. 